directly come dancing star Robin Windsor just wanted to be loved. The professional dancer was found dead just days after returning from working on a luxurious cruise in South Africa, according to reports. Robin's death has yet to be confirmed, but his former Strictly co-star Vincent Simone, who has known Robin since he was 17, has spoken out on the dancer's hidden heartbreak. Vincent revealed that Robin, who had spoken openly about his battle with depression, was a hopeless romantic. He said, Robin was always falling in love. It was a big thing for him. The poor man just wanted to be loved. He had loads of love from the rest of us, almost too much. But I almost lost count of his boyfriends. He wasn't that person who slept around, but he wanted a full-on serious relationship. He was looking for love, a marriage, something serious. I think it was his love life, his relationships, that he struggled with the most. Robin was previously engaged to David Cheney after getting down on one knee on a romantic helicopter ride in 2013 before splitting a year later. The couple had been together for two years and were living together when the Strictly star popped the question. Following the news of Robin's death, David took to Instagram and said, I deeply appreciate everyone's messages following Robin's untimely passing. Please understand that I'm currently overwhelmed and unable to respond individually. Your support means a lot to me. Thank you for respecting my need for space as I come to terms with this tragic loss. After his relationship with David broke down, Robin went on to find love again with X Factor star Marcus Collins, thanks to the Strictly star's celebrity partner Deborah Meaden. Robin and Marcus began speaking on the social media site and their friendship blossomed into an 18-month relationship. Taking to Instagram, Marcus shared a picture of himself with Robin with the caption, The world just got a lot less sparkly. Robin you were so loved. In 2014, the X Factor star spotted a photo of Robin on the cover of Gay Times and decided to tweet him. Speaking about their relationship at the time, Robin explained, Marcus tweeted me to say you are looking really good, well done. We'd first met at High TV Studios a few years ago, when I passed Marcus in the corridor and asked for a photo because he was very handsome. From then on there was no contact whatsoever till I appeared on the GT cover. After my last relationship ended I was on the rebound and on the war path thinking, I must find a boyfriend. Deborah Meaden told me to get myself together, concentrate on work, forget about men, and enjoy life. As soon as I did that, Marcus came along. The couple confirmed they were in a relationship in February 2014 and split in February 2015, but later reunited later that year before subsequently separating again. If you're struggling and need to talk, the Samaritans operate a free helpline open 24-7 on 116-123. Alternatively, you can email joe at samaritans.org or visit their site to find your local branch follow Mirror Celebs on TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.